Hello there. Welcome to GCSE Physics. We're still on thermal properties and temperature. We finished with thermal capacity, where we calculated heat capacity and specific heat capacity. We got to know that the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius is what we call specific heat capacity. When you multiply the specific heat capacity by the mass, you get your heat capacity. Today we're talking about melting and boiling. Melting or boiling takes place when a substance absorbs heat energy. Now when you heat up a substance, its temperature rises. But when it gets to the point where the substance is changing state, let's say from solid to liquid, that process is what we call melting. Now, during this change of state, the temperature of the substance does not increase. The temperature does not increase, but the state changes. Now, why does the temperature not change even though heat is being added to the substance? The heat absorbed will be used to break the bonds in the substance. So let's say if you have ice, the temperature of the ice will increase to a point. When it gets to the point where the ice is melting, that is zero degrees Celsius, the ice will melt to liquid water at the same temperature of zero degrees Celsius. Once the melting is complete, the temperature will start to rise again. And that is what melting or boiling is. Although heat energy is being absorbed, the heat energy is being used to break bonds. So let's read what we have here. The temperature of the substance does not change during melting, boiling or freezing, even though energy is still being transferred. The temperature at which a solid begins to form a liquid is what we call melting point. So the point where the ice begins to change to liquid water is what we call melting point. Now if you continue to heat it, it will get to a point where the liquid water will start to boil. That is what we call the boiling point. The boiling point is affected by the atmospheric pressure. So the temperature at which water will boil on a mountain is different from the temperature at which water will boil in a valley. That is because the pressure on top of the mountain is lower than the pressure in the valley. 